purpose of this week uh, is to uh, provide the general public uh, with an, uh, a glimpse uh, about uh, current research uh, uh, in uh, neuroscience um, uh, and uh, have the public uh, appreciate and understand uh, the tremendous consequences uh, of this research uh, in all facets of uh, our life as individuals and a society, by which I mean both technological, clinical, uh, but also ethical. My lecture next week will be about uh, brain and freedom. Uh, and it will address uh, the tension uh, that exists uh, between our understanding of the neural uh, mechanisms, uh, physiological, physical, and chemical, uh, that underlie um, our behavior, our decisions, um, uh, on one hand side, uh, and our deep uh, feeling and intuition uh, that we are free agents uh, and we have free will uh, to act, to choose um, in the world. The Hebrew University uh, is uh, one of the uh, world's um, most important center of uh, knowledge, education and research uh, in brain sciences. Uh, uh, the Hebrew University was a pioneer uh, in uh, contemporary uh, trend in neuroscience research, uh, which uh, revolutionized the uh, approach to neuroscience uh, from being uh, a specialized science uh, in biology uh, to an enterprise uh, which uh, engages almost um, uh, all sciences uh, and uh, faculties of, uh, uh, of knowledge, uh, from philosophy, uh, psychology, through mathematics, computer science, physics, uh, and the traditional biological um, uh, areas uh, like uh, physiology, anatomy, and medicine. Uh, this is tremendous change uh, in how we view uh, progress uh, and potential uh, of uh, brain science uh, and Hebrew University is a fascinating place uh, where uh, such a, a sweeping interaction exists on a daily basis uh, and makes the life of a researcher um, a, a very exciting um, uh, and uh, engaging.